We had an interesting question on Twitter this week. Somebody tweeted us and asked us what would be a suitable material to make an air rifle proof phone case out of. They were thinking of carbon Kevlar, uh, but wanted to know if that would be suitable or if we had any other recommendations for something that would withstand uh, air rifle pellet. Well, the short answer is that we didn't know what would be suitable. Uh, and the long answer is we decided to find out. So um, we borrowed an air rifle from a friend and uh, we're going to make up some various composite panels using some different materials, um, some carbons, some Kevlar's, some Enegra's, uh, with epoxy resin. We're going to make up uh, half a dozen panels and then we're going to shoot them and see if they can withstand the mighty force of air rifle pellets. So let's go make some panels. Here we have 180 gram carbon Kevlar. With a piece of 200 gram plain weave carbon and 120 gram Enegra. This one is just 120 gram Enegra with a 200 gram carbon sandwich in the middle of another piece of Enegra. And this is just one layer of 180 gram carbon Kevlar or carbon aramid. And this is 180 gram carbon aramid and 200 gram plain weave carbon. On this one we'll just have two layers of 180 gram carbon aramid, plain weave, 375 gram tool weave carbon backed up with a piece of 200 gram plain, 300 gram tool weave Kevlar and two layers of plain weave Kevlar tape, 200 gram. For a really quick, easy and mess free method for we're wetting out these cloths. We've put them in between two sheets of polythene, poured on a little bit of the mixed epoxy resin, and we're just using a plastic spreader to squeegee the resin uh, through the material. And then we just transfer our resin wetted cloths onto a piece of glass that we've already prepared with some sealing tape. And then we add all the layers we need for our vacuum infusion. First layer being peel ply. It's not actually necessary for this application, but it will give a textured finish to the finished pieces. Next, some perforated release film. And then some breather fabric. We're putting some extra breather fabric in this area here where there isn't any of the panels and that will be where our through bag connector will sit. Finally the vacuum bag goes over the top and then we're going to seal all the edges with the sealing tape, attach the vacuum hose and draw the resin evenly through our panels. straight away where the excess resin is getting drawn yeah. through the fabric. So we googled it and it turns out there's quite a lot of regulations uh, if you want to go firing a gun around the place, even if it's an air rifle. Uh, so uh, we've measured it, we're more than 50 yards from any public highways and we're on private land and we're in a safe place, no stray pellets can go anywhere. So uh, we're going to have a go and um, see how these panels stand up. First one. Well, it? We're back in for the bottom left corner. That's what you did. Okay. So we'll not make a full cruise out of that one. <laughs> it's an excellent. 
Sal. Strong that. I can hear it in the shed. Alright, it's Well, as you can see, the pellets have penetrated every single one, except for one survivor. The two layers of 200 gram plain Kevlar have just about stopped it. So I guess what we do now is make some stronger panels based on the one successful uh, panel which was the two layers of plain 200 gram Kevlar. Let's make some more.